Hello guys and welcome back to the Startup Brain TV, the platform to inspire, empower and connect entrepreneurs worldwide. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top tips on how to run a successful business. Now I know I talk a lot about starting a business in my channel, especially online type businesses, but in today's video I wanted to kind of focus on something slightly different. Starting a business is great. Anyone can start a business, no doubt about that. If you have some money, it's very easy for you to go out there and start a business, but the running aspect of the business is what a lot of entrepreneurs struggle with, okay? Starting a business is just the tip of the iceberg. The reality actually kicks in when it's time to run that business on a day-to-day -day basis. You've invested all this money to start this business and now you're pretty much stuck because you don't know what to do next. So if you're interested in finding out more with regards to how to run a business, then you better stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Welcome to the Start of Rain TV, where you can learn how to start and run a successful online business working from home or anywhere in the world, so you can finally live the life of freedom and fulfillment that you truly deserve. So, my first tip to running a successful business is to have a plan. I'm not talking about a 40 to 50 page business plan. I'm talking about your day to day planning. You know what they say, if you fail to plan, then plan to fail. So have a plan. Okay. This is what I want to achieve and this is how I'm going to achieve it. Okay. Just write it down. There's something about writing things down in pen and paper that just makes it look a lot more real. If you mean sticking it in a notepad somewhere that you can easily see every day, do it. Okay. Because the thing is, once you start running a business, there's going to be so many different aspects of that business that you will need to manage, especially if you're running that business alone. I'm talking selling, marketing, accounting and finance, bookkeeping, um, taxes, customer service, web design, IT, human resource management, dealing with suppliers, packaging, shipping. There's just too much involved in the process of running a business. So many different aspects of running just one business, right? And this is why research has actually shown that over 90% of small businesses actually fail within the first year of trading because so many people get excited, they start a business and then they get stuck. They don't know how to run the business because they're so overwhelmed with all these different aspects of the business and they don't know how to manage the business, okay? So personally, what I do is I have a day dedicated for marketing, I have a day dedicated for my YouTube videos. Customer service for me is personally outsourced at the moment, which is something I'm gonna talk about in my next point, okay? to really, really help you avoid this overwhelm and struggle when it comes to running your business, it's really, really good to have a plan. Consistency is key. If you look at it from a business perspective, if you're not open for business or you're not doing what you need to do to get more customers, to win more sales, you're not gonna make any money. Think of it that way. When you open your business and you're doing everything you need to do to make sure you're winning new customers, people are finding more about you, you're going out there selling yourself, you realize that you're making more sales, you're winning more customers, people are getting to know more about you and essentially your business is becoming more and more successful. If I'm waking up every day and telling myself, oh, I can't be bothered today, I'm just gonna chill and sleep all day, I'm, I'm probably gonna make money, but I probably wouldn't make as much money as I want to make in order to be successful. I mean, I do get customers and I do get sales from different marketing strategies, but if I stop marketing my business, I will essentially stop making sales. So I need to ensure that I'm consistent all the time. I need to make sure I'm constantly going for networking events, which is where I meet a lot of my clients. I'm constantly posting YouTube videos, which is where I also win a lot of new clients as well, because this is a platform that I currently use to pretty much sell myself as a business consultant. If I didn't have a YouTube channel, a lot of you would probably never even know about me, right? Because how many billions of people actually exist in the world if you think about it? So you need to be consistent in your business as well, be it in selling, marketing, management, basically anything that is business related, you need to stay consistent. So make sure you stay consistent in whatever you need to do to make sure you can move that business to the next level. And don't be consistent in just writing and talk, but be consistent in your actions as well because action speaks louder than words, okay? Now, my third tip to running a successful business is to outsource. 
Now, don't be scared to ask for help because let's face it, you don't know everything and you may know everything, but you will not necessarily be good at everything, no matter how hard you try, okay? Now, I'm good at consulting, I'm good at talking to people and things like that, but there's one thing I actually absolutely hate and that's doing my accounting and my taxes. So what I do is I outsource that aspect to other people. Sometimes you really need to think about outsourcing other aspects of your business so you can look into other strategies that will help your business grow further. So what I do is I outsource my service to other people, freelancers out there, um, virtual assistants. Um, there's so many of them out there that you can look into outsourcing your customer service, your admin tasks, whilst you focus on the more sort of senior level strategic aspects of your business, okay? So don't be scared to outsource. Don't be scared to use virtual assistants and freelancers to help you with your business. You can check in platforms like Fiverr, elance.com, freelancer.com. There's so many actually where you can find so many freelancers willing to do the basic aspects of your business for literally not a lot of money, okay? So, and in doing so, you can focus on a lot of more creative and innovative ways to move your business forward. Time management is key when it comes to running your business. There's so many time management apps out there, but what I use is literally an Excel spreadsheet or even a Word document. You can use that to really create a timetable for yourself because when you're working for yourself, it's very, very easy to get distracted and overwhelmed by different aspects of your business. You're trying to respond to an email and then there's a phone call from another customer and then you get distracted because you're on the phone for an hour and then you come back and you forget what you were doing because now you're working and focusing on the other customer you just spoke to so many things involved the best way to deal with this is manage your time have a timetable and stick to it when I say stick to it I mean stick to it I know it's so hard and I'm personally dealing with that as well I have a timetable but most of the time times my day does not actually go as planned but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying not to get myself distracted from what I'm really supposed to do. If you dedicate time for the different tasks in your business, then it's very hard for you to be distracted because you're telling yourself that between the hours of 12 and 4 p.m., that's for customer service, emails, and, and anything customer related. And then from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. is maybe for marketing, and that's what you're going to stick to, okay? Now, I do understand that a lot of things can distract you when you're running a business, but it's good to have that foundation that you know you can work with initially to really, really help you help you plan your day ahead. Just have a timetable. Write it down in a pen and paper. You don't need a fancy app or software to manage your time. Excel, Microsoft Word, so many tools out there that can really, really help you look at the different activities of your business and then put them together in a timetable, okay? In a format and allocate different hours for every activity, okay? And my final tip to running a successful business is be patient. Patience is actually key when it comes to running a business because first of all, it's not like a nine to five job where you know you start a job, you have a contract telling you how much you're going to make in a month and how much you're going to earn at the end of the year. There's no guaranteed salary when it comes to running a business or owning a business. Every single month is different and finances will go up sometimes and go down sometimes. So you need to be patient and be prepared to fail sometimes as well because it's not all the time the business is going to go as smoothly as you anticipate. You're gonna have angry customers that you need to refund a lot of money back to. So you need to be prepared for little minor failures in your business as well. I don't really like to call it failures because I feel like it's more of a learning experience rather than a failure per se. So don't look at failure as failure. Look at it as a learning experience and how you can improve things in your business in order to make it more successful, okay? okay. Make sure you're mentally prepared and patient for the journey as well. It's not going to be a smooth journey, but it will definitely be worth it. Keep pushing, stay consistent, and honestly, the opportunities out there are unlimited. It's really, really down to you how you choose to tap into them. So I hope you guys found this video useful in running a successful business. Of course, don't forget my 21 day boss book is due to launch in November, 2018, where I reveal to you how I personally started my online businesses and how you too can start your own online business in just a matter of 21 days. So if you're interested in finding out more about the book, there's going to be a link below this video where you can actually click to access the website and find out everything you need to know about the 21 day boss so far okay if you enjoyed this video don't forget to click on that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on my weekly videos when they do come out feel free to comment down below like and share this video with anyone you feel will be inspired by my content and i look forward to catching up with you guys in my next video